Hello everyone, how's it going? It's Connor and this is another simulated fight night round four boxing matchup. We got Hollyfield and Tyson, haha, <laughs> get it? Cause, cause all that shit that happened in real life. Anyway, that's not the reason why I want to uh, make this video. I want to make this video just to uh, talk over it for the first part and see how things go from there. First off, I want to say happy holidays, whatever you're celebrating. Um, have an awesome time, be safe and respectful and responsible and all that good stuff. Yeah, it's been a it's been a hectic time of the year, but hey, we're all gonna push through it, right? Just like a boxing tutorial right there. Yeah, so Yeah. Anyway. I'm just gonna leave you to this amazing fight, okay? Because this is this is a pretty cool fight. I just downloaded Evander Holyfield. I know it's kind of kind of pointless for Fight Night Champions though, but you know what? I'll wait for Fight Night Champions 2 because in all honesty, uh, I usually wait about two like for sports games, I usually like I'll skip every second sports game just because I find that the one right next to each other are very similar. Even though I like how boxing games do it where they don't release one every year. They they actually work on improving the game from every couple of years. Unlike hockey, football, baseball, where they have to push them out because teams change every year. And since it's a lot bigger sport than boxing is nowadays, like for hockey and football and stuff, they gotta make the money, right? So they uh, they put out whatever they need to to bring in the cash. Speaking of NHL games in general uh, Christmas is coming up I got NHL 12 and I might may or may not be doing my player um, let's play you know cuz I'm a I'm a let's play channel that's kinda what I do I didn't make one for Fight Night Round 4 because the games kinda outdated right now I just kinda use it to talk over and um, analyze things give you guys a little bit of entertainment to watch while listening to my voice but um, what I'm trying to get at is, if I'd like, I, I've been planning on doing uh, let's play for my player modes on various sports, opposed to just doing a random game like my Modern Warfare 3 walkthrough, which you can find on my channel, along with my Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper walkthrough, which is on my channel. All these games for the Xbox 360, by the way, because that's just the game console that I decided to go with. Now that I look back on things, the PS3 might have been a smarter decision, considering that I'm a big baseball fan, and they, uh, the MLB 012, or, you know what I mean, the, uh, the PS3 version of the baseball games are a lot better than the 2K versions on the Xbox, like, it's more just realistic, and it would have been, like, a lot cooler, but, you know what, I'll stick with the 2K sports because they're less popular, and... It'll give you guys some variety. Come March, I am definitely, definitely, definitely doing my player for a pitcher on MLB 2K12 when that game comes out. I've already seen the cover art. It's got Justin Verlander on it. It looks so cool. It comes out sometime in March, around the start of baseball season, and I'll be doing a pitcher. Whether he's starter, closer, or reliever is will be up to you guys, I guess, if you guys want to tell me what to make him. And as f and but now, eh, and that's baseball season. Let's stay in hockey season for a second. Uh, I'm I'm not into that many basketball games. I'm probably gonna wait till next year to get my next one. So, from as for my players from basketball, you probably won't be seeing any of that anytime soon. I don't plan on it. But for hockey, I'm planning on doing a goalie. I really want to do a goalie because. I don't know, I just want to start in the OHL, work my way up the ranks with a goaltender because you can look up people on online and you can find my players of forwards on uh, all the time. Like you can find batters and baseball games, you can find forwards and hockey games. And that's why I want to bring you some variety, some new content and, and in a way this is how I think I'm going to do it. I'll be using a goalie. We'll uh, work my way up and try to get my way into the NHL 
all the way from the OHL. We'll go through the draft games. But probably, I, I don't know if I want to do it full games or if I want to just do it like, um, what am I trying to say? If I want to just take bits and uh, like little pieces of each game, like little highlights, put them together and talk over that. Or if I want to show the entire game, because if I'm a goalie, I'll be playing the entire game, right? And then I, it's a lot different than a forward if I can just sim my shifts and whatnot. But then, granted, live commentary is funner. Post commentary is, I end up just rambling on about things, which can, you know, you think it would be the other way around, but I, I think live commentary is a little bit funner. It, it all depends on your perf personal preference, but. Who knows? Like, personal preference wise, who knows, maybe you guys would rather listen to the announcers on the video game of this instead of me talking over it, but as for right now, this is kind of an update video, so maybe in parts 2 and 3 of this fight, or if there's parts 2 and 3, I don't know how many parts there's going to be in this fight, depending on how long it goes, the uh, announcers will be talking, but for right now, I just want to fill you guys in on what's to come with this channel and things in the future so which is so as for Sherlock Holmes I haven't updated that series in a very long time that is because with the release of Modern Warfare 3 in the past month I've been playing that a lot just online casual but I've been trying to get the campaign modes up that's what I've been filming I've been trying to get those out because Obviously the campaign mode for Modern Warfare 3 is a shorter game than Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper. There's a lot more effort I have to put into Sherlock Holmes because I have to solve some mysteries. I could go online and just look up how to do them, how to do these different puzzles, but then that takes all the fun out of the game and who wants that? So, so I'm just trying to give you guys some content with Modern Warfare 3 and when that's done, I'll continue with Sherlock Holmes. And as for these Fight Night videos, these are pretty much just like vlogging videos. It'll give you something to watch, some some basic entertainment, and who knows, maybe you're actually enjoying the fight, you know? Because Mike Tyson versus Holyfield, even though you can probably just go home and simulate this yourself, it's fun to have somebody else's opinion on these sorts of fights. As for this, I mean, these two guys are great fighters. Like, in their prime, like, everybody wanted to see that fight in 91, and even though I wasn't even alive back then, I don't know what I'm talking about. You might not think I know what I'm talking about. Uh, well, I'm pretty into this stuff, so... So this fight, we all know it would have been, like, one of the greats. And, you know, these two guys are great fighters. Holyfield, I think, is a little underrated. Um, he's actually a very good fighter. Like, very good. Anyway, I'll leave you guys to the fight. I'll stop doing commentary over... A fight one. This is supposed to be an update video, so like I was saying, Sherlock Holmes it takes a lot more effort to do those videos. I have to solve puzzles, and the problem is, unlike Modern Warfare 3, where there's specific levels, like I know each level is about 15 minutes long, and I can almost make um, like one video a level or like a two parter. As for Sherlock Holmes, it, it's not really broken up into many sec- like, it's not really broken up into chapters. So, <laughs> it's like an RPG, like, you don't know when to really cut. So, I don't know how long each section of the game will take. Sometimes I'm flying through it and sometimes I'm not. So, it just takes a lot more planning and when I don't have that much time on my hands, it's very hard to do it. I mean, with schoolwork and all, it's, it's very hard to put all these videos together even in the quality that they're coming out in because you know I I get inspired when I see people without the best quality still putting up videos that people love to watch and and that gets me into videos because I obviously don't have the best quality but it's the the stuff that I'm giving you guys that you know is a little bit worth watching because really I could give you uh, 2000p quality and uh, no commentary, and you could pretty much get that from anybody, but I'm, I'm giving you guys my opinion on these sorts of games, and I hope that's what you guys like to see. Oh, uh, well. So, now that Sherlock Holmes is out of the way, Modern Warfare 3 update. Well, guys, 
the campaign mode has been going pretty smoothly so far. A little bumps in the road, like, like first off, I'm playing regular mode. That is because I'm not very great at the game. I have good opinions on, or, well, I can't call them good opinions, they're my opinions. All my opinions are good. But, uh, my opinions on the games and what happens, my commentary over it, I think it's pretty fun to just do myself. I don't know about watching it, but the the like it's going pretty smooth so far. I'm on to Act Two, and it's pretty fun. Like as for the game itself, I'm enjoying it. I I hope you guys are too on my journey through it. It's just uh, like it's it's a let's play that I'm not taking too seriously because let's be honest, there's amazing COD players out on the internet, and you guys can all watch them if you want, but. You know, they'll give you tips and tricks and where to find this and where to find that. I'm just kind of playing through it, you know. Like I've said before in other videos, I'm just a casual gamer. Like, I like to play video games. I don't, it, it's not my life. <laughs> I don't get that hard into it. That hard into it? Ooh, God, that sounded, that sounded suggestive. But you know what I'm trying to get at. And... That's all I'm trying to say. So, Modern Warfare 3. World War 3. Can my character survive? Or characters, because you play multiple guys in that game. Which I kind of like, because it changes things up from place to place. Some levels can seem very generic. Like, you're just run and gun. You don't even know friggin' what the story is. But, that's why it makes it a pretty easy game to let's play, because all I have to do is run through and shoot and talk over it, and it's done like that as but like you know I need to just finish one LP just get it under my belt so that I can progress because everybody's first let's plays are very like not the best if you look up anybody on the internet that are famous right now their first LPs were not very good the commentary was very awkward which I'm an awkward person I guess you could say so all my commentary is very awkward but you know that's just how the cookie crumbles and how things come to be and I hope if you guys stick around you can see me progress into a better commentator not somebody who stutters on their words or changes their accent from video to video and stuff like that so I hope to see you guys in part two of this epic fight between Tyson and Holyfield. Thank you for watching this.